And last time we talked, I asked you straight up, are you taking a probiotic? And you weren't. You've touched on probiotics a couple of times, including just now. Is there one, obviously you're somebody that's doing everything, fermented foods, the yogurts, and it's not just about a probiotic and a silver bullet, but are you taking a probiotic to complement all these other things you're doing? You know, we're going to look back, Jesse, in a few years and say, look at what we used to do with probiotics, these haphazard collections of microbes where we didn't know what the dose required was for true biological effect. So if you're, if you're a microbe, so let's, let's take a, a study, a recent study using the um, BNR17 strain of gasserite. Placebo given to people, they're measuring waist circumference. Placebo, no drop in waist circumference. One billion, no drop in waist circumference. 10 billion, three centimeters drop in waist circumference. Well, that's as far as the study went. Well, if 10 billion worked, what would 50 billion have done? 100 billion, 500 billion, a trillion. Don't know. But so right now we, do, we have so little dose response data. What's the right dose? We also don't have strain optimization data. If ATCC PTA 6475 rotori works, is there a strain that's better at it, at say provoking oxytocin? How about collaborative or guild effects? Microbes are like people. You don't live by yourself in isolation. You have a partner and family and co-workers and friends and communities. Microbes are the same. And that's why, so if mom gave you, say, rotori, you'd have it for a lifetime, provided you're not exposed to antibiotics and other things. But if you take it as the yogurt or, or a probiotic, you have it for a few weeks. Why? Probably because you lack the whole guild or consortium or community that supports it. So we don't have that yet either. So that's why the modern probiotics are just haphazard collections with no thought to uh, collaborative effects. And there's some other issues not factored in to crafting a modern probiotic. The closest we can come, I know, is my, my friends, uh, Martha Carlin and Raul Cano, uh, Dr. Raul Cano. And by the way, full disclosure, they're a sponsor of my podcast. Um, a company is called BiotiQuest, B-I-O-T-I Quest. And they have some products where they at least theoretically combine microbes that have synergistic effects. For instance, they have a product called Sugar Shift that consumes fructose, glucose, and sucrose in your GI tract and thereby presumptively reduces blood glucose. So I gave it to 20 of my pe people, non-diabetics. They agreed to do finger sticks for four weeks fasting uh, and they reduced their fasting blood glucose by 9.8 milligrams which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a huge amount in fasting non-diabetic person. It's on a par with metformin taking a drug. So, and even more interestingly, Martha's uh, primary motivation is the fact that her husband has Parkinson's disease and uh, he's had it for a number of years. And there's experimental evidence, not human evidence, that when you, when um, that product consumes those sugars, it converts it to mannitol. Humans can't metabolize mannitol, but it can cross the brain where experimental evidence, not yet human, suggests it dissolves the alpha-synuclein, the stuff that accumulates in the brains of people with Parkinson's disease. Anecdotally, she's given it to her husband, a bunch of other acquaintances with Parkinson's, and they've had what appears to be partial remission, including her husband, who no longer needs a walker to get around. He ambulates freely. So she needs, they, somebody needs to do the clinical trial because that's such an important effect. But that's the closest I know of, Jesse, to something that's been intelligently crafted. Symbiotic 365, SYN Biotic 365 is a pretty good product. But uh, they, the one issue with that is the rotary strain they include is what's called the 30242 strain. I'm sorry about these numbers. Also called the UAL RE16. <laughs> The reason I tell you that is that is a non bacteriocin producing strain of rotori. We don't want that one then, right? And so if you take Symbiotic 365, either directly or make a yogurt out of it, make a yogurt out of the 6475 strain of rotori because you're not getting the bacteriocin producing strain. So I, I don't know, I, I can't say this product, they got it right, finally. It's not happened yet. It'll happen. It'll happen. But I, I, I reiterate, reiterate that because I hear this too often. Oh, don't tell me about my, I take a probiotic. <laughs> you know, no, that's not good enough. 
That's the least important thing you can do currently. One of my favorite Quicksilver scientific products is their liposomal vitamin C. It's great for immune support, collagen production, and antioxidant protection. The liposome is a great delivery system for effectively getting the vitamin C into your body. Save 15% by clicking the link in the description. And now back to the show. That's important. So point blank, you're not taking one right now. You know, I've played around. So I've taken Sugar Shift. I've taken one called Equilibrium, which I would not recommend, absolutely not recommend, and a handful of others. But I can't say, you know, isn't it cool, Jesse, when you do something, you say, oh, this changed things. Now, I went wheat and grain elimination. <gasps> I lost 38 pounds. My triglycerides went from 400 to 40. My blood sugar fasting went from 118 to 82. <laughs> you know, uh, life-changing. Vitamin D. <gasps> no more seasonal affective disorder. Uh, my, I don't, I don't burn anymore when I get sun. I, I tan instead. Uh, it were life-changing effects. Rotori. <gasps> I sleep nine hours. My libido's higher. My skin is different. You take a probiotic. Um, maybe. <laughs> you know, I have seen good effects from the sugar shift. That's the only one I've, I've seen. And there's, there's some other ones that Martha and Raul have formulated. One's called Simple Slumber. And there's one called Antibiotic Antidote. I'm not clear on the science exactly, but people, I'm getting a lot of reports back from I, my, my audience are kind of like you and me. They'll buy Sugar Shift, ferment it to yogurt, you know, and get a ton of those micros. So what, by the way, what you're doing with the micro when you ferment it as yogurt, it, we don't care if it's called yogurt or not. We just want to increase the bacterial counts. I, I say that because people will say this, people who don't know what we're doing. They say, oh, Davis is not doing the right way. That's not how you make yogurt. We're not trying to make yogurt. It looks and smells like yogurt. What we're really trying to do is taking a microbe or microbes and boost their counts dramatically. So you can start with maybe a billion and end up with 300 billion. I've taken up to a trillion of Rotori. <laughs> we just want greater counts for greater benefit. All right. When you start talking about upping it all the way to a trillion, it gets me thinking about, is there a certain limit that becomes too much? Or is the food, the sugar that that bacteria is going to be eating off the medium, whether it be, you know, dairy or, or coconut, will that be self-limiting because it'll run out of food? You know, as long as you're not on cancer chemotherapy or have some other uh, immune system impairment, pr probably not. To my knowledge, never has there been an a effect of an excess number of, of microbes. Probably because uh, when you, even if I took a trillion, it's going into an environment of hundreds to thousands of trillions. So it's like taking a big bucket of water and pouring it into the lake. Will, will the lake rise? Not really, <laughs> you know, you're, it's just, it's not that much. We, we, it sounds like a lot. Look like the bio guy gastrous tablets made for babies. There's a hundred million. It sounds like a lot, but in microbes, it's a nothing. It's nothing. And look at, look at the BNR 17 waste reduction study. No effect, a billion, a billions, uh, you know, a thousand million. It's a lot, but in microbes, it's not 10 billion. You start to see an effect. So what would a hundred billion, what would a thousand billion do? A trillion. <laughs> so this is all being sorted out now. It's, it's happening not as fast as I'd like to, because when we have, if, if, if you and I were drug companies and we had a new drug, we'd test 0 0.25 milligrams, 0 0.5, 1.0, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, 2.6, because you have an unlimited budget. We can't do that. Every arm we add may add another $20,000. And if our budget's only $420,000 for the next two studies, we have to cut out some of the little things we'd like to do. If you enjoyed that clip, press here for the full episode. I'll see you over there. It would be hard, Jesse, to find diseases, modern diseases, that are not either initiated or exacerbated by the microbiome. Look what we're doing with Rotori. Reduction of skin wrinkles, vaginal moisture, boost in testosterone.